Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to go through uh, kind of the stuff, the steps that I go through to store the boat. Uh, first thing you want to do when you get your trailer set up is you want to cover the boat and you want to find some kind of uh, cart so you can easily move it around. Uh, this one just connects to the regular, regular trailer hitch. Uh, you got to wire it up. You got to uh, have a tarp that is waterproof and you want something large so that it'll cover the entire boat. Uh, another thing about the tarp is you need something that's going to be really tight so the wind doesn't blow it off. Now I have latches all over the place. I have one going underneath that kind of wraps it around. Uh, what you want is something that doesn't allow it to dangle below because you want airflow to get underneath so that when it does rain you don't have all that moist um, ground there that will cause mold on the bottom of your boat. Um, going around here, uh, I have all this tight. Uh, easy way of doing this was I had um, just garbage bags. Uh, these are waterproof. These uh, j basically just cover it and then I have straps covering it from here. Um, that's pretty much how it sits as far as uh, for storage. Uh, next thing I'll talk about is, next thing I'll go ahead and remove the tarp and I'll kind of show you how I get it ready to be roadworthy. Okay, I'm just going to go through uh, just the different straps that I have to hold the boat to the trailer so it doesn't fall off while driving. Uh, first ones are, this one holds the front down, right here I got a strap here. I have two straps on mounting plates here. Those go to uh, the stainless uh, straps here. I have some wraparound cord holding holding this down. Uh, I then have you come over to the back. Uh, the whole boat sits on two two by fours right here, and the boat is pushed forward so that the uh, wheels lodge into the into the uh, trailer. And so to hold the boat down from going up, I have a strap coming around on the top, and that keeps that here. This is, I keep the motor down while it's in storage, and then when I'm trailering, what I have is this right here, and this is a shock absorbing, basically a motor mount, and I have a clip right here that this snaps into. And this motor holds up like here. This holds in here. And then there's a uh, bungee cord that goes into two. There's two drill holes in the back of here. This goes in here. I believe. And this snaps around right here. And obviously, I have the wrong bungee cord. There's a shorter one that goes around here, and I'll I'll do that later. Uh, the seats, they easily flap up when they're driving down the road. So I have a uh, bungee cord that attaches to the bottom of here, like that. And then it snaps like that, and I do both of them. The seats are mounted uh, with stainless screws from the bottom side up. That's what holds them to the stock seats. And then to keep the seat from... Uh, uh, rocking back and forth this way, I have two aluminum bars that lock the two seats together so that they can't twist. And these are all, you want to use all stainless hardware because it's all going to be get wet. There's the uh, bungee cord that I use and it has a knot in it so that I can adjust, you know, how tense, how uh, the tension of the strap. Uh, there's two holes in the back of here that these snap into like that and then that wraps around the back of the motor and what that does is it holds it down. Uh, this has a uh, spring on the inside and that keeps gives it some shock so that when you hit bumps and stuff it doesn't shake the, the whole boat. Uh, and that's pretty much ready to go for the, uh, the motor. I usually like to keep it uh, in neutral so that this can spin and it doesn't really do anything go through all the steps it takes to connect 
the boat to the car. Uh, first thing you're going to want is a trailer hitch, and you're going to have to wire your car for a trailer hitch. Uh, what I have done is I have taken out the uh, brake lines and wired this all up. Uh, I had to go with a uh, separate adapter because mine is a foreign car. Foreign cars use different uh, setup. So I have, here's my trailer hitch connector, uh, here's my adapter, and here's a switch that turns on and off the adapter because uh, with the trailer hooked up I get a ABS light and I turn that off when I'm not using the trailer. Uh, another thing is, this is your standard trailer hitch. Uh, I got my ball lock with a, or the pin lock with a lock so no one can steal my steal just the trailer part. This is a shield for uh, the hitch. I can go ahead and just throw it on. What this does is it snaps in here. Go ahead and pull, pull the pin like that. Pull out the key. Snap it in. Now this is attached. That's my shield. Throw the key there. Uh, this is all attached. Uh, go ahead and I'll pull this out. These are all the parts for the trailer side. Here's this. That all unlatches. Just, just kind of, there's no easy way to do this. Pull that. Roll that aside. And then this just kind of slowly edge the trailer on here until you get a good latch. Now, it's real easy to accidentally go too far and whack your car, and so that's why this is here, so it doesn't, it stops it. And then what I did here, there are pins that hold this on, right here. And I have these uh, just with a wire, tied them together so that they'd stay together. That goes in the car. This slides out, these pull out, this goes in the car, then uh, this all gets reattached to the electrical connection here, that gets nice and tight. Uh, I'm going to grab the lock for the key, but basically this snaps on here, and then you have kind of a dangle here. What you can do is you can twist them together, and that basically shortens up the uh, the chain, and then that goes like that. And then I usually lock the chain to the hitch also. This gets locked down like that. You can do a test. Make sure that's nice and tight. Uh, there was the pin. Pin goes back. And I like to go ahead, I don't like this flopping around in the air where it's going to scratch my paint. I usually make it kind of nice, get some uh, masking tape, go ahead and just tape it on, just like that. It, it's only for a day, so it should be fine. Get it nice and neat. What you're looking for is a high quality professional taping. And then tape it right here, and you obviously want to miss the, the clasp for the uh, trunk. And then shut it, you're good. Then you want to do a, go ahead and start the car, uh, do a full brake test to make sure all of your lights are good. Then you want to go through and, and double check all of your straps. These are too loose. Um, go ahead and tighten them up. So I gotta mix my gas. Uh, what I have is a uh, custom bottle here I made with different measurements. I'm using uh, 51 uh, gas fuel ratio. I'm going to look at my tank. I need about a gallon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this to my one mark with uh, my oil.
price is already paid for. And go ahead and fill that up. I like to be able to kind of get some gas in there. I guess that didn't really work out. But. And then you basically fill it up until you got get your one gallon at the pump. There's one gallon. And you want to let it seal this up, mix it up. Go ahead and pour it in. And what are you mixing in? Uh, this is the uh, Marine Premium Plus two cycle outboard engine oil. Next thing, what I do, go ahead and uh, go ahead and unlatch everything from the uh, boat. I got my uh, motor up, and I'm going to go ahead and inflate everything and get it uh, back to normal size. What I've done right here is I've got the regular inflator that came that was optional with the boat. I have it wired with an extension cord all the way to my battery. I have the, uh, the engine running while I do this because it uses up some energy. Uh, what I've done with the connectors is I've gotten the optional connectors and I have glued them to the tips so I can go one by one to the uh, different connectors. snaps into the uh, eyelet right here. It screws in right here. It's all stainless wing nuts. The front is attached by the uh, oar locks and I have a little washer that holds it straight. And then the front is held on by straps. Now a couple things you're going to want in your boat. You're going to have one life jacket per person. What I have right here is just a cooler and it has uh, a pocket inside. You're going to want stuff like a uh, waterproof case, uh, light sticks, uh, knife, uh, pliers uh, thing. You want your uh, registration in here, uh, kit, uh, some zip ties, some extra uh, latches. Uh, I have in here my uh, light kit. For night, what this does is this is the back. This attaches uh, directly to the top of the boat, the top of the mount of the uh, outboard motor. That's for the back. You need a white one that goes all the way around. For the front, what you do is you glue on a, uh, a fitting to the front of the boat. This snaps in here and it locks in here. And then you have your standard red on this side green on this side and that's the the front of the boat. Another thing we got is some uh, emergency oars. Those go on the boat. Uh, an extra pair of uh, an extra rope for tying onto the dock. And then this right here, this is a uh, a foot uh, thing you use to jump onto the side of the boat when you're in the water. What that does, this dangles in the water, this connects to the opposite side of the boat, next to one of the, next to a strong point on the actual boat, like that. And then what you can do, then when you're way down in the water, you find find that fitting and you can jump in like that. All right, to uh, remove the boat from the trailer, there is a pin that separates the trailer. Pull out the uh, safety pin. Here's the lock. It goes like that. And then I lift up from here. So you want to be further back. The 
this whole thing lifts up like this. If you come over here, these are the wheels that are detachable. You can lift up on the back of the boat. I can dolly it around into the lake. And then when I'm done, these pull out, and uh, I'm ready to ready the boat. This is the uh, drain valve that gets stuck in when I'm done. Lower the boat, lower the uh, outboard, and I'm ready to go. I'll show you the trailer. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight trailer. It's got uh, just wooden boards right here. There is a hinge right here. This is an extra plate. This is the wiring. These are uh, that's the hole that the mount, the pin goes into. This goes straight in like this. And here's the lock for the pin. Uh, this, this was not, this was an extra piece of steel. Uh, this was another piece of steel that I added to the kit. Now uh, I just cut some straight things in here and re-welded them there. That made it a little bit longer. And I also added uh, LED taillights instead of the normal. And uh, that's the trailer.